in order of Salvatore Mundi selling here at Christie's. $400 million is the bid, and the piece is sold. Following the auction, the Lure Abu Dhabi announced it would put the painting on display beginning in September of last year. But that never happened, and the current whereabouts of the Salvatore Mundi are unknown. The whole thing calls into question not just the painting's provenance, but also its authenticity. These are the questions art historian Ben Lewis is trying to answer in his book, The Last Leonardo, The Secret Lives of the World's Most Expensive Painting. So let's turn to him to find out about the extraordinary journey of this masterpiece. Hi, Ben. Great to have you on show today. So first things thank, first. Thank you for inviting me. Where is Salvatore Mundi? Tell me where it is. Well, our best, guess is, <coughs> our best guess is that the Salvatore Mundi is in a lockup in Switzerland, possibly in the Geneva Freeport. And we think it's there because um, in September, a Swiss restorer contacted the uh, New York restorer of the Salvatore Mundi, Diane Modestini, and asked her, how do I package, how do I pack up this painting to transport it to France? Now, we know the painting never actually left for France, but it's such a fragile painting that any owner who wanted to move it would have to consult with a restorer. And any restorer would want to consult with the original restorer, who was, you know, Diane Modestini, who restored the whole picture. So Diane Modestini was contacted in New York in September last year and asked, you know, how do I prepare this picture for transport so it doesn't get damaged? And that's how we know that the picture was in Switzerland in September uh, uh, in September 2018, and I don't believe it's been moved since then. But I don't understand, like, what is the harm in knowing? Why is it kept a secret? Well, we don't know why they want to keep it secret. That's also a secret. Um, <laughs> <coughs> there are sort of two... <laughs> the owners of this painting are likely to have one of two problems with it, right? And one of them is, is that the authenticity of this painting, right, the description of this painting as an autograph Leonardo da Vinci is disputed. You know, the, the art historians and the dealers and the auction houses and the museums behind it have, have an official story regarding the authorship of the painting, the provenance, where it came from, which famous people owned it, and the restoration of the painting. And there are problems with all these three stories, shortcomings, that lead other art historians, not all, but some, other art historians to doubt the authenticity of this painting. The owner may be worried that if he exhibits this painting, people are going to look at it close up, they're going to investigate it, and a consensus will emerge that he spent 450 million, not on a Leonardo, but on something that was painted in Leonardo's workshop by one of his assistants. That is the problem. Another. <clears throat> but there's another possible problem. There's a whole other scenario, right? We know because of intelligence leaks in, from the FBI and, and also within Saudi Arabia, that the person who paid for this painting was the, crown, was the crown prince of Saudi Arabia, the de facto ruler, Mohammed bin Salman. And it appears from the official announcements from his government and from the Louvre Abu Dhabi that he gave this picture to the Louvre Abu Dhabi. However, the Louvre Abu Dhabi promised to unveil this painting on September the 18th last year, and two weeks, just two weeks before the unveiling, they cancelled it without giving any reasons, and we haven't had any reasons since. So one problem might be is that the, it's not clear who owns this painting, that possibly the Saudis want to keep it, or possibly the Louvre Abu Dhabi have said, before we show it, we want a contract that clearly says we own this painting now. I don't know which of those two scenarios are correct, but it's one of those two, in my opinion. But Ben, as for someone who spent so much time thinking, writing and researching about this painting, you're really not revealing much to me. So. That makes me think, do you own it? <laughs> I don't own the painting, you know, and there are so many mysteries with this picture. Um, and I spent, you know, nine or ten months working day and night uh, investigating it and also writing the 500-year history of this painting. You know, mysterious, puzzling, perhaps 
brilliant painting, perhaps beautiful painting, who knows, you know. And I uncovered a few secrets. For mm -hmm. example, I uncovered the secret about who owned the painting in New Orleans between 1958 and 2005. And I uncovered a, a secret about another painting, very similar painting in Moscow, that has a Charles I stamp on the back that once belonged to the English king. Charles and the historians the first, who support right? the actual. Yes, 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 exactly. And the historians, you know, one of the sort of foundations of the attribution of this painting by the historians who support it is that this is that this painting, the Salvatore Mundi, their painting, the one owned by the Saudis, was once in the collection of King Charles I. And one of the things I discovered was that if you look at the inventories of King Charles I's collection, he appears to own not one, but two Salvatore Mundis, right? And one of them is definitely this painting in the Pushkin Museum in Moscow, because it's got a big Charles I stamp on the back, CR, burnt in, right? Now, the Salvatore Mundi, the Salvatore Mundi that the Saudis own does not have a stamp on the back which actually could show that it doesn't belong to Leonardo da Vinci, but maybe his studio and his assistants, right? Yeah, it's difficult with Leonardo, as with other Renaissance artists, because of the way that these great Renaissance masters worked in their studio. You know, they, they, <clears throat> somebody like Leonardo had between five and 12 assistants at any one time. And when you look over his oeuvre, which is very small, you know, we, the most only 19 paintings are attributed, to, are attributed to Leonardo. There are four kinds of painting. There's the autograph Leonardo, you know, very original composition, brilliantly painted almost all by Leonardo, with perhaps a few little bits and pieces by assistants. And then there's Leonardo plus workshop, or workshop plus Leonardo. And these are works of art, you know, th these are works of art designed by Leonardo based on a Leonardo drawing or blueprint print, but mostly executed by assistants and finished up at the end to varying degrees by the great master Leonardo da Vinci. And then you have other paintings, which are workshop paintings. Those are just by Leonardo's assistants, but they're based on a design by Leonardo, or they've got a little drawing in, in them by Leonardo, a hand or a, a face or a, po a figure or a posture or something like that. And then right at the end, you have other works of art that are just by the assistants and not based at all on anything Leonardo might have done. Mm. So all these kind of works are coming out of Leonardo's studio and this and 450 the million debate, the dollar painting, we don't know if it belongs to Leonardo da Vinci in that sense. And last, before we wrap up, yeah, ben, historians, are, Art historians are split down the middle. That is, that is the point to get across. It's some of the world's greatest Leonardo experts, like Professor Martin Kemp and David Allen Brown at the National Gallery of Art in Washington, they say, this is an autograph Leonardo. But then there are others, like Frank Zollner in Leipzig, who wrote the catalogue raisonné of Leonardo's work, and Carmen Bambach at the Met in uh, New York, a brilliant curator who's just about to bring out a huge book on, Le book on Leonardo. And they say, no, this is workshop with some finishing off, some kind of participation from Leonardo da Vinci. And that's how it should be categorised. There's a huge difference in quality and price between those two categories. Mm -hmm. Well, we could talk about this for hours and you could actually yeah. write another book on that. But thank you so much, Ben Lewis, for joining us on Showcase today. Thanks for inviting me.